In those days, the primitives did prostrate themselves by night to the honor and service of the devil. they celebrated until the coming of a great god whom they call Buddha and to whom the salvation of souls belongs. Him they believe once to have come upon the earth whence he departed from the top of the highest mountain on the island called in the Chingule language Amalev but by the Portuguese and the European nations Adam speak. It is sharp like a sugar loaf and on the top a flat stone with the print of a foot like a man's on it, but far bigger, being about two foot long. It is the footprint of the Buddha. The people of this land count it meritorious to go and worship this impression. And generally about their new year, which is in March, they, men, women and children, go up this vast and high mountain to worship. mountain to worship.
our Buddha, who acquired nirvana, who came into the world like other Buddhas, from whom is derived the food of life, who is celebrated for his 32 great manly beauties and for the 82 signs connected with them, and for the light which shines a fathom round his body, and for the beams of light that dart from the top of his head, who is the preceptor of three worlds, who is acquainted with the past, present and future, who during four asankhyas of kalpas so conducted himself as to be an example of the thirty great qualities, who subdued Mara and his attendants and became Buddha. In the eighth year from that event, he rose into the air, spread beams of light of six different colors round his person, and stamped the impression of his foot, bearing the noble marks Chakra Lakshana and the 108 auspicious tokens on the rock Samantakuta Parvati, which is celebrated for the cold and lovely waters of its rivers, for its mountain torrents, and for its flowery groves spreading in the air their sweet-scented pollen, which is the crown of the Virgin Island, rich in mines of all kinds of precious stone, like a maid decked with jewels. shadow is cast from this mountain for a space of 70 miles, formed as it seems of strange vapors, for it lieth not on the land but a little above it, so that the hills and valleys appear veiled beneath.
belongeth only to the women to fetch both wood and water. Husbandry is the great employment of the country, in this the best men labour. Nor is it held any disgrace for men of the greatest quality to do any work either at home or in the field, if it be for themselves. But to work for hire with them is reckoned for a great shame, and very few are here to be found that will work so. are very active and nimble in their limbs and very ingenious, for except iron work, all other things they have need of, they make and do themselves, insomuch that they all build their own houses.
rice is the choice and flower of all their corn, at reaping their excellent good, just after the English manner. As they join together in tilling, so in their harvest also. For all fall in together in reaping one man's field, and so to the next, until every man's crop be down. The women's hazifri is to beat the rice out of the husk, which they do with an ebony pestle in a wooden mortar. where dancers have their dwelling, the children must come each day to the house of their dancer, there to practice themselves in their art. For, if they be not exercised from childhood in this manner, their limbs have no skill in the postures of their dance. Thank you. 
Dear sir, in reply to Dear sirs, with reference to our conversation, twenty-two pounds seventeen and sixpence, seven pounds nine and a penny, to acknowledge receipt, forty rupees seventy-five cents, fifty-five rupees two cents. We beg to inform you that the consignment to which you refer, seventy-eight dollars thirty cents, UFOB London, per SS Comarin, sailing twenty-fifth instant. Yours faithfully. Yours faithfully. Yours faithfully. Australia, calling Toulon, Naples, Port Said, Suez, Aden, Colombo. was steady at yesterday's higher prices. Salon FNS November to five ports quoted ten pounds seven shillings and Hello? six pence. Hello, CIS. Speaking. Oh, Grayson here. Yeah. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I was just going to send them along. There are one or two alterations I want you to look over. All right, I'll do it as soon as I get them. They're not a hurry, you know. Yes, of course, I understand that, but you must realize... Gembala Valley, 42.6, East India and Salon, 23. Ditto, 6%, preference, 28 and 6. Euralia, 83, one and a half, Yaffe and Salt, 16, four and a half, seven and a half, six and a half, Carolina, one, seven, eight. Lord for the seed still, huh? This semaine est montée à 81 400 kilos. La compétition a été bonne à la vente de l'enchère, et les prix d'atteint sur Normandie. Die wöchentliche Lieferung von Zahl und C, die 22 000 Euro, East by South, a half east, sir. Today's commodity prices. T. The week's offering of salon grades, amounting to 22,100 packages, came up for auction. Competition was generally good and prices regular. Common and low medium broken orange picos were a farthing to a halfpenny higher in some instances, while broken picos also showed a similar rise. Good medium sorts and fannings continued firm, and where quality was good realized higher prices. 
Been common broken Pico, quoted 11 pence farthing to one shilling per pound. The crown of the Virgin Island, rich in mines of all kinds of precious stone, like a maid decked with jewels. Columbo, October the 10th, bound London. In Rapera, left... <laughs> Thank you. 
became Buddha. who is celebrated for his great manly beauties and for the 82 signs connected with them. Stamped the impression of his foot, bearing the noble marks Chakra Lakshana, for the light which shines a fathom round his body. For the beams of light that dart from the top of his head. From whom is derived the food of life. 